uh, another concerned advocate uh, who uh, hosts a, a website uh, entitled Let's Talk Honestly. Is that right? Yeah. And so we want to uh, welcome Mr. Cook to come and to share his reflections with us at this time. Let's welcome Mr. Cook. Yeah. my website let's talk honestly and uh, what we do on my website is we post stories about missing black women and missing hispanic women and i posted a story about nia not too long ago maybe maybe in november and so uh, this is something that's important to me it's this issue that's always been important to me and before i go any further i i gotta say this now i don't go to church like i should but i know that when um there's a good sign that when in the middle of winter it's 56 degrees and the sun is out and there's no traffic on the way down that's a good sign that we're all doing the right thing and that this is a good cause. But back to my speech, I'm, I am of course here to support the family of Mia Lynn Nichols. I'm here because uh, Mia could be my daughter, my wife, my mother, or any, any of my loved ones. I'm here because Mia's case, fortunately in Mia's case, the local media and the police have been on top of this. But in most cases, women of color, they don't get the attention that they deserve. You don't hear about these cases in the media. I'm sure some of you walking around even in this neighborhood, people didn't know. I ran into that twice yeah. while I was handing out the flyers. I'm here because we need to ask the major broadcast networks to cover these stories and to give these women coverage. I'm not gonna say the name of these channels, but their initials are ABC, CBS, <laughs> CNN, NBC, and MSNBC. No. We also have to hold our own accountable. That means BET and TV1, who should be leading the charge on these efforts and getting these stories of our black women, Hispanic women, all women of color out there. It's time to tell these media outlets to put our black women on TV. And it's up to us, the public, to remind the media and law enforcement officials not to forget what's going on. We have to keep these stories alive by doing things like this and making sure that the community is aware of what's going on. And, um, so in closing, I just want to ask that we all pray for me and her family, everyone that came. God bless you and God thank you. Thank you. Thank you.